That's what we're using, isn't it? Right. Cool. <clears throat> What's up, crew? And we're back with another little bit of one of these. Move the candle. An issue some of you guys are constantly asking me about. And this is also something that came up in the Q&A one that I did regarding a lot of questions. But it's one I didn't feel like I could cover there because it needs its own separate topic. And that is the natural or not natural. The obtainable or the unobtainable. Everything that you see when you go on an Instagram image or something like that, you look at it and you think, that's the fucking perfect physique. That's what I want to look like. How do they look like that all the time? And I can't. This video is here to show you that people don't look like that all the time. And that to not look like that all the time is fine. Give me Gabby stuff that we've got going on here. This is what I'm going to use today as my tools to change me from this is me, normal Joe. Now, I'm not saying I'm in bad shape or anything. Obviously, my goal in life is to stay in good shape. I don't like bulking. I like lean gaining, so you'll never see me in this big bloated kind of state of bulk. Check out the lean gain video that I did regarding this. It was part of the other Q&A. It was a big section where I break it all down for you, step by step in how to structure it. So the link for that will be in the description. For this video, done nothing today, but sit. I've had some fruit. If you follow me on my Insta stories or Snapchat, you'll know what I have. I have my fruits with my low fat yogurt. I've had two teas, one coffee, and two pieces of toast. One with just some light clover on top of it, and one with a teaspoon of raspberry jam. That's all I've had all day. The reason I've done that is to keep myself kind of normally flat looking, as you would find your muscles after a workout, or if you've been out and about during the day working, you haven't been able to get your meals in quite all yet. So the general kind of position that most people's bodies are in day to day. I'm gonna do a physique update on how I look as I am right now. Flat, untrained, unstretched, unpumped, no holds barred kind of look at how I look. No, I don't give a shit. How shit this is how I look. Roxy, no. Don't wait till video to always drink. We look to be on the camera with the people. Hello, the people. I forgot what I was talking about then. Huh? That's how you look, that's. Yeah, so I don't care. This, I'm, I'm real with you guys, I'm always real with you guys. I take you through the good, the bad, the high, the low. I've done this before, I've kind of covered the subject a little bit, but we're gonna really do it in an in-depth way in how you, how the physique changes from what you're gonna see at the start to what you see afterwards and why that happens. So rather than suddenly people throwing all these drug accusations at people that really don't deserve it, what you're doing is you're just seeing a body in its primed form, its primed state, because it has everything that it needs to be to maintain that state for a short period of time. And that's what you need to understand, that this is a short thing. It's an acute reaction, it's like, a, it's like an explosion. It's woof and, and then gone again. Right, subject matter for what we need today. One, we have, in the background we have a Dan. Is he there? He's there. There, that's a Dan. Dan's here to help me and he's gonna be the witness. The other witness? Say yes. Yes, sir. He's a real human, it's not a doll. <laughs> we're gonna do a training session together. He's gonna to witness that this is all we do, this is all we're gonna take. We're flat right now. What brings out vascularity? What brings out that fullness? Fats and carbs. The, around the workouts, that's what's gonna do it. So, we're gonna utilize carbs in the form of something simple and fast acting, caramel snacker jacks. It can be any rice cake, it could be sweets, it could be Skittles. They have a bit of fat in them, but essentially, anything that's really fast, simple carb. Secondarily now, so to get that fullness, that pump, and even more vascularity on top of that, what we want to add in is a couple of supplements. These are standard things that I will use when I'm working out anyway. This is the EHP Create 8. This is a micronized creatine. I've talked about this before, that it doesn't work acutely. The reason I'm gonna take this before a workout is I'm not, and a lot of you guys take it around your workouts. So what I want to do is show you that I'm doing the same thing as you guys do, variables and all that. If I was to nitpick, I'd actually take this after a workout. Five grams, once a day, it's fine. Don't do loading phases, you don't need it. It's nonsense. Any company tells you you need to load, Secondarily, they're going to be using this. This is the PSI pre-workout from EHP. This is non-stimulant based. This means there's no caffeine in here. There's nothing that's going to make me get ha. Ah! This is simply a pump agent. So in terms of what's in it, ingredient profiles, citrulline malate, L-arginine, alpha-ketoglutarate, acromatine sulfate, L-taurine, L-tyrosine and norvaline. That is literally everything that is in this product. So you see there's no caffeine, no caffeine anhydrous, no crazy vitamin B complex or anything like that. This is simply here just to develop that nitrogen retention, the fullness and blood flow. Last but not least, what helps really bring out just that fullness and tightness that you'll see a lot of the time, and it's a very acute effect, that's gonna be fats and salt. Fats wise, you could use peanut butter. I'm gonna be using some coconut almonds. These ones are from Muscle Food. Got a little bit of a dusting of some kind of Mexican chocolate on them. They basically just make almonds taste even almondier and nice and yum diddly yum dum. In terms of salt, 
This is what I'm gonna be using, the Himalayan salt. I'm literally going to weigh out two grams of this, and I take it with me, I'm literally gonna slam it before we just start training. Other than the PSI and the creatine, which I'm gonna take now, because this one takes about 20 minutes to get into your system and kick in. The creatine doesn't really matter when you take it, so I'm gonna take that one now, just before, just for argument's sake. The nuts, the salt, the rice cakes, literally get to the gym, I'll do my physique update, then I'll take these, and then we'll crack on. Let's go. Let's go. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. Searching for my lost shaker song. Okay, so that's that. Now, Jim. with a little random plastic bag. This has got my two grams of salt in it and I've got 10 almonds in there. What I'm gonna literally do is show you my physique as it is now. Then I'm going to take these, I'm gonna slam the two grams of salt with about 400 ml of water. Then I'm gonna start eating the snacker jacks and I'm gonna go straight in, hard contractual workout. I'm just gonna flow with the body and when the body looks nice and full, boom, that's what I'm gonna show you. The next stage of this transformation. And this whole thing has taken part in no more than 90 minutes. Literally, salt, nuts, snacker jacks, train. Two grams of the Himalayan salt. <laughs> it's like when you come off a surfboard. <laughs> That's 10 almonds. Oh, chocolate. I forgot about that. 10 almonds, so it's roughly around 10, 11 grams of fat. Two grams of the Himalayan salt. Now I'm gonna have five of these snacker jacks. They're 13 grams of carbs, pretty much nothing else. So five of those, that gives me 65 grams of carbs. Anywhere between kind of 50 to 80 grams of carbs before training. With the added addition of the, the pump pre-workout. And this being so simple and so close to the workout, we'll get those extreme results. Mmm, they're about two months old and they taste like crap. Too late. 
done. Dan, Dan's still here, proof. <laughs> so that's it, there's no fishing business, just some clever supplementation from flat to pumped. We're out of here.